Boruto episode 95 review and oh my god this episode was absolutely amazing and to be honest I feel like it's gonna be a little bit weird for a lot of people mainly because this episode was like a slice of life episode it wasn't supposed to be that good but because it was a slice of life episode involving Sasuke and Sada a lot of people were interested with this episode and not only that the rise of Boruto did an amazing job implementing both of them. Now, in my opinion, I feel like this was definitely the best slice of life episode of Boruto. I'm not gonna go as far as say of all of Naruto because I'd have to go through 700 episodes of Naruto, and of course, that would be a huge statement to say, but definitely the best slice of life episode of Boruto. I feel like not a lot of people actually did mind this episode, and I know some of you guys didn't want to actually watch the Naruto Shinden novel parts being readapted, mainly because it was going to be three episodes of straight slice of life, but if you guys didn't necessarily see this episode, I highly recommend it. Out of all the other three, I highly recommend this episode. Now heading into this episode, there's a couple things that we did want to know. One of the first things being is why Sasuke was in a Hidden Leaf Village. Now here's the thing, if Sasuke was in a Hidden Leaf Village mainly because he came back just because, that means his mission is almost finished, like he's in the Hidden Leaf Village. But if Sasuke came back mainly because of the holiday, it would pretty much mean that, hey, Sasuke is not done with the mission and he just wanted to come back for the holiday. Now, fortunately, Sasuke kind of gave like an in-between answer. He said that his mission isn't necessarily over yet, but the mission that he's on or the mission that he's kind of pursuing as of right now is in a village close to the Hidden Leaf Village. I kind of think that's definitely a very good sign in terms of the overall mission. If you guys haven't known that the mission for Sasuke was originally to gather more information about Urashiki Otozuki. Now, if he's trying to go to a place nearby, it can only mean a couple of things. First things being is that Sasuke feels like Urashiki Otozuki has some business in a village nearby. And I feel like, of course, that would definitely be something very significant that we do have to worry about in the next couple of episodes of Boruto, mainly because we can't expect for Sasuke to go report back to the Hokage about what his findings are that were on the mission another thing that i really want to see is sasuke actually go do the mission i know it's been like a reoccurring thing with sasuke and these missions that we've never really seen sasuke on one of these search missions the only time we actually did see sasuke on one of these search missions is actually when he did fight kinshiki otizuki and of course everybody loved that fight but i feel like this right here would definitely be a very good time to have us actually see what sasuke is doing on one of these missions mainly because it's so close to the hidden leaf village but getting off of all the crazy serious stuff this episode is absolutely amazing for Sasuke and Sada first things being is that Sasuke doesn't necessarily know how to handle his daughter they've not been together for pretty much all of their lives another thing that we really see in this episode is that Sasuke doesn't have good social skills the first time Kakashi popped up in this episode it's like Sasuke hasn't seen Kakashi in a very long time and I know Sasuke is a little bit irritated because he's trying to get along with his daughter but the first thing that he says is what do you want but honestly Sasuke should have just kept that same energy with Kakashi all through this episode because Kakashi gave this man some terrible advice now the advice he gave him was from the book that Kakashi is always reading now I thought that Kage level brands could actually piece together the fact that that book is not for getting along with your daughter <laughs> like I thought that was gonna be a little bit common sense but apparently not of course I do understand it was in there for like plot reasons and of course it was absolutely hilarious the way they did it one of the best scenes in the actual episode is when Sasuke called Sada the peanut like what what type of stuff is that like we know Sasuke is not gonna call anybody peanut another thing that I was really seeing that a lot of people did like about this episode was the character development of Sasuke it's either you really loved it or you really hated it mainly because some hardcore Sasuke fans out there they want Sasuke to be extremely emo they want him to be mad at everything but now Sasuke has developed into this guy that pretty much has a soft spot for his family and I seen a back and forth with this on Twitter and somebody pointed out that every tough character that actually gets some children they get soft and I feel like that's definitely true one of the characters that they did cite was Vegeta I'm pretty sure some of you guys don't know who Vegeta is but Vegeta's like the Sasuke of Dragon Ball Z he's like the original Sasuke he was extremely pissed off at everything he hated everybody he was completely heartless until he got a family which completely changed him and I feel like that's definitely what Sasuke is going through as of right now of course it's bigger than just having a family Sasuke did get a reawakening or he did get some sense knocked into him by Naruto which Sasuke actually did point to in this episode but i do have to tell you guys character development with sasuke is something that we just should expect we can't expect sasuke to be this ruthless guy throughout every single episode of boruto naruto shippuden and naruto now one of the things that i really did love and i actually hated this back in naruto shippuden and naruto was the actual replay of the sasuke and itachi scenes of course we do understand that this is something that's very important to sasuke's childhood but here's the thing in Naruto Shippuden, they were showing it like literally 
literally like every single episode. I, I was like tired of it. But now seeing it in Boruto, because we haven't seen it in so long, I really like that implementation. Of course, it gives you an idea about what exactly Sasuke was thinking in that moment and relaying it back to Sarada. And it wasn't only the scene with Sasuke and his brother, it was also the scene with Sasuke and his father. And you really got to see the dynamic of how Sasuke is trying to approach the situation. And I feel like that was amazing. One of the best things that I feel like Sasuke could do with Sarada is just train. Now, I understand that Sarada sometimes just doesn't want to train, but let's be honest, Sarada views Sasuke as like this super strong guy, completely perfected in everything, a whole bunch of jutsus, and Sasuke maintaining that image in front of Sarada would only make Sarada feel that much better, and of course, them training would definitely do that. Now, during the end of the episode, we got to see a scene with Boruto and Naruto, I feel like that was a very good addition. Now, at first, I did get that feeling like, hey, this is supposed to be a Sasuke and Sarada episode, where are Boruto and Naruto doing in this episode? So I kind of got warmed up a little bit. It was kind of cool seeing Boruto being a little bit soft towards Naruto and asking him to train. Of course, Boruto likes to have this tough persona, much like Sasuke did back when he was younger. Sasuke had a better reason, don't get me wrong, but Boruto loves to be that tough guy. And of course, Boruto not being that tough guy for one day, the parent and kid day, it was absolutely amazing. And of course, Naruto giving Boruto that ninja weapon, I feel like that was definitely a great addition. Hopefully, we get to see Boruto use it in another mission that he does go on that we can actually see. Hopefully, it's in the next arc. But one thing that I really want to see, I actually want to see Naruto and Boruto spar. I thought that would be a very good addition, but I do understand the animation team could only do so much, so I didn't completely mind it. But I do know what you guys think about this episode in the comment section below. As I said, I thought it was a very good episode. The best slice of life episode of Boruto thus far. Amazing product. But it's being a boy bar B. And we up. It's a knife. Shut my clock. I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con. I pop pistols. Beaming my body. Clothing no issue. Bitch, you look sick. You need a tissue. You drop a body. I just might bless you. I'm at your sexual. No high cholesterol. Where's Jenny Craig? Bitch, just get sexual.